Hey, welcome back. There is an incredible event happening tomorrow that gives young local musicians a chance to make music together regardless of which instrument they play. And it's led by Grammy award-winning producer, songwriter, and musician Mike Elizondo, or Miguel Angel. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. <laughs> He's joining us today to chat about it. I had I got to throw in the, the full name in I'm there. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have some relatives that'll be okay, very good. happy Okay, good. You can tell them all about it. Okay. Well, okay. Mike, tell us a little bit about your background. Of music. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Los Angeles, native of uh, Los Angeles, and uh, son of a musician, so I kind of had it around the house and uh, started to get into music probably when I was around nine years old and all throughout high school and college and somehow forged a path where I was able to make a living playing music uh, and then wound up making beats with Dr. Dre, which came out of nowhere, but yeah. I was grateful for that experience, and that kind of led me down a path of getting to write and produce music for a variety of artists. And tell us about who some of those artists are. Uh, well, I mentioned Dr. Dre, yeah. uh, Eminem, 50 Cent, Mary J. Blige, uh, and then more recently, 21 Pilots. Uh, I do a, a good amount of work with Lin-Manuel Miranda as well. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, a, a, a wide you know, variety of artists, which I'm super grateful for. Do you ever get starstruck by anyone? I get starstruck by comedians and athletes, but oh, not no. so much. Musicians. Not musicians so much. Peers. I mean, maybe Paul McCartney. Of well, course, you know, yeah. There's definitely a few up there, but for the most part, you know, I just I, I feel. Uh, you know, a connection to the musicians, but but comedians and athletes are, are superheroes to me, for mm -hmm. sure. But I think the variety of musician and performer that you've worked with is really a testament to your own talent. But I can only imagine that it is incredibly exciting to work with youth. Tell us about Absolutely. this event. Yeah, well, I mean, I had a lot of people pour into me when I was younger. And so I promised myself if I was ever given the opportunity to pour into other young artists and up-and-coming artists that I would do the same and try and pass on, you know, encouragement and any kind of advice. And so uh, I was invited by the Seattle Theater Group to come and mentor and MD the show that will be happening this Friday night at the Moor. Uh, the program's called More Music at the Moor. And uh, local Seattle artists and musicians uh, audition and then are selected uh, as a group and they receive uh, lessons and guidance for I think about three weeks uh, from local musicians here in town and then I come in on the last week and help kind of wrangle all the uh, all the talents uh, to you know to do a show perform a show and it's a lot of fun it's very rewarding and it's just cool getting to meet the next generation of uh, of talent man that must be such a cool room to be in with just people just all the creativity oozing Absolutely. tell us about some of this year's musicians yeah i mean we have an incredible cast so we've got nine artists uh let's see if i can remember everybody i'll tell you <laughs> see how we get in. Uh, but we have a, a really cool pop funk duo called uh cherry ferrari uh, we have, uh, I'd say, a shoegaze kind of grunge rock group called Alex Vile. Uh, we have an amazing uh, group, uh, instrumental psychedelic rock, I'd say, uh, called Mid Pack. Um, and then uh, we have some solo artists, uh, Anu Bapatar, who um, plays a, a traditional Mongolian instrument oh. called a horse head fiddle, uh, which actually has a horse head on the, I mean, not oh. an oh. actual horse head, oh, okay. but a wooden carved out oh, okay. horse head. <laughs> that was a roller coaster. Was, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not a real horse head. But, uh, anyway, um, uh, but no, and then uh, we have a singer songwriter named Kira uh, Hamalian, who's phenomenal. Uh, we have Maya Michelle. Um, who is 14 years old, incredible soulful wow. pop voice. Um, we have Ali Deshay Gaines, who plays the drums and is incredible as well. Um, we have Taz Enrico, who's a rapper and a singer. And, uh, and he's so talented, so creative. And then we have Zahara Ilan, who plays piano and is a singer. And all of them write original music. A lot of the music, you know, that you'll be hearing on Friday is all original. Wow. Uh, and then a couple of covers sewn in to spice it up. That's so cool. So yeah. exciting. So the program has some notable alumni, including Macklemore. So talk to us about the experience of musicians working on this kind of project. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's really important, you know, to be able to um, 
you know, for the for the, this group of artists to be exposed to people like myself or people who've had some success in the industry to be able to come in and kind of demystify it a little bit. You know, when you're kind of coming up, you're you're wondering how does it all work? How do, you know whether it's a how do I get a record deal? How do I get people to my show? Um, so to be able to provide some of that background and a little bit of that in, information, I think kind of I hope kind of inspires them to kind of pursue their dreams and, and pour, you know, amazing music into the world because we know we all need it. Absolutely. Yeah. And say you're not a musician, but you want to check this out. Is there a way that you can? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, to be able to attend the show, all you got to just buy a ticket, you know, and uh, the, again, it's at, it's at the Moore Theater this Friday at 730. Um, and uh, the doors open at 630. But yeah, you can buy your tickets. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a, a, an awesome opportunity to come support local talent here in, in the city and encourage them and who knows you might be seeing the next Macklemore you know which yeah. is pretty exciting as well. Absolutely. Mike thank you so much for joining us and I know you know this but I hope you are aware that you are changing these young musicians lives so oh, thank you for thank doing you. that. My yeah. pleasure thank yeah. you for having so me. We have posted more information on more music on our website fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. Yes.